Good morning and welcome to another video. So I'm here at the Brooklands Racecourse. As you can see, I'm standing on the bank circuit. I'm actually standing at a bit of an angle. Uh, on your screens, it's sort of about that steep. So I'm here today at the Brooklands Double 12, and this is an event for vintage sports cars. As you can see, there's quite a few behind me. These are here doing road course. They're doing a hill climb and a concourse d'elegance, which is a beauty pageant for uh, all different types of cars. It's called the Double 12 because the event used to be a 24 hour race and the uh, locals back in the 1930s used to complain because it generated so much noise so they split it into two days of 12, so that's where the term double 12 comes from. Let's go and see what we can find. like to give yourself credit for it. If you have something that's going on in your life right now that's challenging or painful, it's just a reminder to take a little bit better care of yourself. Bumble BMX5 NA. Got some great gold wheels on it. Up next, we have this 1934 Wolseley. It sounds really, really good. I'm actually struggling to stand up on this bank here. I wonder if he'll do a burnout in that V8. That sounds pretty good. There's a lovely E-type just emerged out of the shadows. So here we have a GTM Cars kit car. This one has a little badge on the back which says Cooper S, so I guess it's got a Mini Cooper S engine in it. It's absolutely tiny. It's got a fiberglass body on it, so it can't weigh very much. The wheels, just to give you an idea, 155 by 65, 13 inch. Here we have a Lotus Lamp with the classic red and gold colour scheme. A couple of Lotus Sprees. This one says GT3 down the side, and this is a Turbo Lotus Esprit, I believe. Turbo SE. You have a Lotus Elan S2. Not quite rounded and not quite square at the same time. Front wheel drive and 0 to 60 in about 6.5 seconds. Quite a common occurrence at these events, people pushing cars. Lovely Lotus Elan Sprint. So this is a Lotus Europa S, I've never seen one of these before. About 225 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. I would really like a Lotus, it's sort of an upgrade on an MX-5, but they're like two or three times the price. This one's a, a two litre turbo, and probably weighs a lot less than the uh, MX-5 as well. Got my ice cream. TVR Chimera, Aston Martin DB7. DB7 actually came with two engine configurations a 3.2 litre inline six, which was supercharged, or a 5.9 litre naturally aspirated V12. And I can't tell which one this is. I think it looks very, very similar to a Jaguar XK. Here we have a 2006 Mustang. Pretty sure what's happened to the bonnet on this one. Well, the paint's been rubbed off. Beautiful E-Type coupe here. This one actually has the 4.2 litre inline six, what I consider to be the correct engine in these cars. I have been in one and they're incredibly quick. You wouldn't imagine that this is a quick car, but uh, it makes about 265 horsepower, 385 newton meters of torque, so very, very fast car. Professional media crew here. Classic Mustang 2 plus 2 here. 
289 cubic inch V8. 289 cubic inches is about 4.7 litres. 1965, it's the fastback model. This one is a four speed manual. Forward Thunderbird. So wide. Lancia Delta Integrale. Monte Carlo edition, not in any of these left now. Legendary 1990s rally car. Group A rally cars, I think these raced in. Gorgeous blue colour with gold wheels on this one. AC Cobra here, what I can only imagine is an original. Another Ford Thunderbird. The Thunderbird logos are great. Look at that. Look at the rear lights on this, they're so cool. Why don't they make rear lights like that anymore? This is a Bentley Brooklands. Must feel right at home. Gorgeous green 912. Aston Martin DB6. Probably one of my favourite cars here today. These are 4 litre inline six. They make about 265 brake horsepower, I think. Produced from 1965 to 1970, and they're worth quite a bit of money. If you ever wanted to go inside a Concorde, they actually have one here at Brooklands. It's running eight Michelin Air Xs. 47 i 15.75 R22.1s Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7 Very rare and very expensive classic Porsche from the 1970s, 1973 or 1974 Flat 6 with a 5 speed manual, they do about 0-60 in about 5.5 seconds It's got the original Porsche Fuchs, I can never say it, Fuchs wheels on it, F-U-C-H-S Air called 911T Original Morgan three-wheeler, very noisy. So I couldn't work out what this car was earlier, I thought it was American. It's not, it's actually a Humber Pullman, 5.3 litre V8. This XJ is so shiny. I can see myself in the wing mirror. Hello. We've got a Jaguar F-Type V8 convertible. It's got some nice stickers on the boot, actually. This sticker adds 10 horsepower. No hairdressing products left in this vehicle overnight. I feel like I need one of those for the Mazda. It's a six-wheeled Range Rover from 1976. It's been uh, converted into a fire and rescue truck. Gorgeous Ferrari Testarossa here. Nice number plate as well. You don't realize how wide they are. Here's one next to a Mark 1 MX-5, just to give you a bit of size reference. It's like a shelf at the back. Something a bit more modern, this is a new Mercedes E53 and the interiors on these now are just all screens, look at that, huge screen. The only dial in the cockpit is the clock. This one has the Burmeister sound system upgrade. Super luxurious on the inside. I think this one's actually used to do the uh, Brooklyn's track days here because of the cameras that it's got front and rear facing mounted to the dash. This one's definitely used for rear instructor track driving because it's got a brake pedal on the passenger side. This is the E53 model with a 3.2 litre inline six. They called it a mild hybrid, so it has some sort of hybrid intervention electric drive and it makes 429 horsepower and the engine's mounted to a nine speed automatic. Nine speeds, it's like a bicycle. Zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds. Okay, so in a minute the uh, Napier Railton is gonna run and that's a 1933 uh, race car with an aeroplane engine in it. It actually holds the lap record the uh, Brooklyn circuit in 1935 and it's very rare to see the uh, Napier Railton actually run. Okay, so that's me done here at Brooklyn's Double 12. I'm gonna head home now. The weather's been very unusual today. It's been uh, hot, cold, windy, rainy, and a bit of snow. No, I'm joking about the snow. Thank you very much for watching, and please make sure you sign up. Sign up? You could sign up. You could also subscribe. Oh, a little That's cool. I tried to do the outro outside, but as you can see, I just kept getting distracted by cars. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to get notifications when I upload a new video. Plenty more to come and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.